Hey, this is Florian, Online Tennis Instruction. Today I have a very important topspin ground stroke tip for you, and in fact, this is probably the most important topspin ground stroke principle that we can teach you to hit with more power. To generate real power on your topspin ground strokes, you need to swing what we call inside out. And that means from close to the body to away from the body, as you can see right here. However, this principle is often misunderstood because players think we're talking about an inside-out shot where you hit a forehand from the backhand corner into the backhand corner of your opponent, for example. When we talk about an inside-out swing path, we are not talking about hitting an inside-out shot, like an inside-out forehand that you often see on TV. Every topspin ground stroke requires an inside-out swing path if you want to hit with power. And inside-out here means from close to the body to away from the body. But let's take a closer look at that. Here you see me in the slot position for a two-handed backhand. And as you can see, my hands and my racket are close to the body. And I have a good distance to the ball. And now I can swing inside out from close to the body to away from the body to contact. And that's what we need in order to hit with power. Now the important thing to understand here is that we use this inside out swing path even if we hit cross court shots. And that's where I think people can easily get confused when we talk about the inside-out swing path because they think of an inside-out shot. So an inside-out forehand or an inside-out backhand. But here you see the inside-out swing on a two-handed backhand. This time I'm hitting a down-the-line shot, but later I'll show you a cross-court shot with the same swing path. Here you see a forehand in super slow motion, and again we'll see an inside-out swing path. I believe this is a down-the-line shot as well. So now the rack is a little bit on the outside, but I bring it in to the inside, and this is critical. It needs to be relatively close to the body. This can vary, but general guideline here is relatively close to the body so that I can now swing inside out along this green arrow that you see here, and that's the only way we can really hit with power. Take a look one more time. An inside-out swing path to contact from close to the body to away from the body. Last but not least, here is a one-handed backhand from OTI instructor Greg Lesur. And right here you can see in the slot position, the arm and racket are close to the body. So now he can swing inside out uh, or from close to away from the body to generate power on this one-handed Thompson backhand. And once again, that is the swing path regardless of whether you're hitting down the line or cross court or even inside out. So let's take a closer look at that. Here's an inside out forehand that I actually hit from the backhand corner and you see that the racket is close to the body and the swing now goes inside out to contact and then I hit the ball inside out. This of course sounds logical but what about when we try to hit a ball down the line or in this case what I'm going to show you now an inside in forehand. So again I'm in the backhand corner and I hit the ball essentially down the line from here and what we'll see is that the racket once again goes into the slot position close to the body and now the racket is going to swing inside out to contact again. Of course some things change here. We have to get the ball in a different direction. And what happens is that the right shoulder comes around just a little bit more and then the wrist at contact is also in a different position so that the tip of the racket comes around a little bit more and at contact the strings point to the target which here is more down the line and before on the inside out shot the target was to the right. So on both shots, the inside-out forehand and the inside-in forehand, we swing inside-out. We only position the racket differently at contact. But now let's look at the cross-court forehand shot. And once again, we see here in the slot position, the racket is close to the body. And now I'm going to swing away from the body or inside-out to contact. So I'm actually swinging in the opposite direction of where I want the ball to go, and that's why this is so counterintuitive. What makes the ball go cross-court is the angle of the racket face here at contact, and the tip of the racket is a little bit more round. The strings are now pointing cross-court, and even though I'm swinging inside out to generate power, I can hit the ball cross-court this way. 
and all great top swing ground strokes are hit with an inside out swing path so this is absolutely critical for you to understand and to master and in fact hitting inside out shots from the backhand corner into the backhand corner of the opponent is a great way to practice this inside out swing path and for the backhand you can do exactly the same thing you can hit inside out backhands from the forehand corner into the forehand corner of your opponent simply to practice this swing path so that's it for the inside out swing path if you enjoyed this video then we would really appreciate it if you could share it with two or three of your tennis friends because most tennis players have never heard about this important ground strokes power concept below this video you can find a link that you can simply copy to your clipboard and then you can send it to your tennis friends via email or social media by simply pasting the link into your message thanks a lot